Yo, new day, new verse. We continue on in Isaiah. Today we're going to be reading on ahead what we're going to be covering this week. This week we're going to be picking up with chapter 51, verse 22, and going through chapter 52, verse 7, or the first part of it. And I'm excited to go through it together. And I encourage you, as always, read ahead, dig into the Word, spend time with it, because this beautiful quilted love letter is a reminder that those broken places, He wants to heal. And He already knows them because somebody else has been there first. As Paul said, well, remember, go over these words because it'll be something to remind you. Other believers have been there too. You're not alone. Then when flagging in the faith, go over his word, especially the gospel. Because when we see what he went through for us, it's a whole lot easier to go through what we put each other through without meaning to. That all said, out of the way, Father God, thank you for the word. Thank you for your verse. It's Thank you for your wisdom. Thank you that you know our heart even when we don't always know the words. Thank you that you know us inside and out and that you truly care. Lord, lead the way that we might live to be a reflection of you for others. When they would look at us, they would see your face, that we would be human beings, humane and living the way we should. Lord, help us be garden people, even in exile. In Jesus' name. Amen. Chapter 51, verse 22 on. This is what the sovereign Yahweh, your God and defender, says. See, I have taken the terrible cup from your hands. You will drink no more of my fury. Instead, I will hand that cup to your tormentors, those who said we will trample you into the dust and walk on your backs. Wake up, wake up, O Zion, clothe yourself with strength, Put on your beautiful clothes, O city, holy city of Jerusalem, for unclean and godless people will enter your gates no longer. Rise from the dust, O Jerusalem. Sit in a high place of honor, in a place of honor. Remove the chains of slavery from your neck, O captive daughter of Zion, for this is what Yahweh says. When I sold you into exile, I received no payment. Now I can redeem you without having to pay for you. This is what the Sovereign Yahweh says. Long ago, my people chose to live in Egypt. Now they are oppressed by Assyria. What is this? Asks Yahweh. Why are my people enslaved again? Those who rule them shout in exultation, and my name is blasphemed all day long. But I will reveal my name to my people, and they will come to know its power. Then at last they will recognize that I am the one who speaks to them. How beautiful on the mountains are the feet of the messenger who brings good news. I look forward to digging into this together as we go through this week, and please I encourage you, read on ahead. May his favor be upon you. Know that you're loved. I'll see you.